Kia ora, good evening. A series of killings in Northland involving tribesmen and the mongrel mob are being described as gang warfare. A fatal shooting in Whangarei yesterday is the latest in what some are calling a string of retributions, and those on the ground say the battles are over the drug P. Helen Castles reports from up north. Gangs are fighting to death in Northland, and this black power leader has no doubt why. It's got nothing to do with rivalry or retaliation. It's got to do with uh, um, um, when you run out of fries, pee, some people will go out of their way to find it, um, uh, uh, where there is uh, uh, standovers. The latest to die, 37-year-old John Harris, a tribesman fatally shot before being dropped at this Whangarei ambulance station yesterday morning. So I actually think this is a gang war that's playing out, not just in Northland, but in Auckland as well. Pene Hinare's cousin, also a gang member, was shot and killed in Whangarei two weeks earlier. It's the gang affiliation that's seeing the kind of retribution attacks uh, that have taken place over the past 10 months, um, and it's a sad thing. The Whangarei shootings followed three other gang-related killings in Kaitaia this year, including a stabbing and a drive-by shooting. The tribesmen and mongrel mob gangs appear to be at the heart of the conflict. Thomas Roahi's entire Fano is tied up in the gang scene, a scene that's changed. It used to be too afraid, you know, um, why um, gangs used to fight. The um, P is probably one of the um, causes of troubles. How much money can be made out of selling P? Oh, millions of dollars. <laughs> Martin Kaipal's a former Black Power enforcer. He says P and related violence are an epidemic in Northland. I mean, it's more scarier and dangerous now than it was in my day. We knew clearly who was the enemy. You know, there were clear boundaries. But despite the increase in gang activity, police are reluctant to call it a gang war. They say they've got the situation under control, with additional staff being deployed to Northland for support. Northland's like any other community in New Zealand. There are gang members. Uh, at the end of the day, these people aren't Rotary members. But the gangs aren't so sure. With the P, it, it won't go away, put it that way. Helen Castles, One News.